don't play Zelda uh, Tears of the Kingdom like I have. Uh, I wanted to talk about that today. This is Ryan over at uh, Zelda Ate My Lunch. Today's video, I wanted to talk about how I've played Zelda and how I think you probably shouldn't do this way. So I've been playing it where I just wanted to get all 150 shrines. I think it's 150, 154, something like that. 150 shrines just done, just out of the way. Get it out of the way. Get all of them. Get you know. Figure out whether I want stamina or hearts, and just just be done with it. And then I was listening to Kit and Krista, uh, who used to be the Nintendo Minute, and they were talking about the, the depths. They were talking about uh, you know <laughs> things that I had no idea that were going on even in this game. And I realized I said I, th I think I'm playing this game wrong. Like I, I know there's really you know technically no wrong way to play a game, but if you are this far into a game like or you've got this many hours i should say into a game and you have no idea that there's like a third other map down below you if you have no idea what the storyline is if you have no idea what's actually going on in the game chances are you're missing out on something and and i feel like i was really missing out on it now i haven't finished the game and i actually haven't played the game because i've gotten really into the pixel remaster uh for final fantasy i've really gotten into that i never thought i would uh but i did i, I really like it and i'm like man but i have really played this uh game wrong but i've actually got fatigue from the game like i kind of almost don't even want to go back and play it i don't even care about the story anymore but the story is really good and it's like i really missed out on this story now i've got the game for forever the game will play as long as i have a switch and tv and uh, you know power but i just i i wanted to make this video like if you're watching this video and you're you're one of these it's, you got to find all the shrines first it's kind of like why you know why, why are you doing it that way but maybe that's maybe that's uh, uh, just just me. Maybe it's more people. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I really feel like I've missed out on a lot of the game. And if I had, would have had done this story, and I got to that point right now where I'm kind of fatigued by the game. I really don't even know when the next time I, is I play it. But if I had beaten the game, I wouldn't really care that much, right? But now I'm like, well, I haven't beaten this game. I got all these hours into it. I got to beat the game. But all I did was concentrate on, you know what I can get out of it or the, you know, what I'm getting out of it. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we'll see what I do with it in the future. Now I did go, uh, I actually did the, I guess they're called dungeons kind of in the reverse order. I did Gerudo first and then I did, uh, Rito, I think, uh, either wind one. And then I did the water one. So I got one left. Um, I was surprised at how hard the one in Gerudo is, but the wind one was like stupidly easy. The, the water one really wasn't that hard either, but the Gerudo one from what I've heard afterwards is actually definitely a, a bit of a challenge, but you know, I had all my hearts and stamina, so it wasn't really that bad. And another thing before I end this video, cause I didn't really want it to be a long one. I really think, and if, if somebody watches it, hopefully this gets out there. If somebody watches this game at like Nintendo or somebody who actually can pull strings, which I highly doubt with my, the size of my channel. But if you did, I really think that you should attach uh, like an experience level, which would give you more hearts to fighting enemies in the game. And I think the shrines, which could be way less and should be just for the stamina. So if you really don't want that stamina, you really don't have to find the shrines, but you can fight the enemies because you want the hearts or, you know, vice versa, or you can get both. And you can weigh less than the amount of shrines that there is in this game. Cause I think it's just too much. I think 150 is just way too much. I forget what, what, it, what it was in the last game, but it was like 125 or something like that. The sub quests, I guess are really good in this game which they really weren't that great in the other one there's an actual purpose of doing them uh for uh, for a lot of the uh things in this game so there's actual reason to do it unlike the uh, breath of the wild uh so i'm really like that and <laughs> i'm just finding this now uh, out now because i actually listened to uh, kit and krista uh talking about this I, if i hadn't listened to that i just kept on going with my shrines and i might have gotten fatigued and never played the game again but uh, yeah, anyway, I think that's all I have to say about it. I really do wish they would change up the experience points. I really wish they would 
do something different. Like they don't need this many shrines. And I really think that like, if they really looked and I know Nintendo's not big into this, but if they looked at kind of what other RPGs do as far as the experience points, I really think that you would be better off attaching fighting enemies in this game to experience points and getting loot. And then the shrines to the stamina or vice versa. Uh, because it just, I feel like there's a huge lack of something in this game that are, is in other RPGs. Not saying this game is bad by any means, this game's phenomenal. But I really think if they did something like that, they would have just like the best game <laughs> like that you could imagine. But anyway, that's my uh, that's my two cents about it. Uh, comments, questions down in the comment section, like always. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video.